Hello everybody! That was a white boy fail. Um, got another tutorial for you. Uh, it's been requested by Stealthy and a couple of others, so can you please do a tutorial on that cracking kind of thing? Um, there was another guy who inboxed me as well. So this is the effect that I'm going to be showing, and that is the sort of fractured glowing text, I guess you could call it. And it's all done in Cinema 4D, so we'll just get straight into it. Now, you will need a program, it is called Thrausia, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I will leave it a, a link in the description for that, as well as the Lightroom which I'm using. Now, Thrausia is free, so there's no, I'm not going to go and tell you how to do it and explain how to get it, but it is free, so just type it in in Google, and it'll come up. So, once you've installed Thrausia, you want to open up the Lightroom and just create a text object. And just name this to what you want, so we'll just do Tut. And you can really use any font you want, but there's a few that look good and some of them look bad, but there's one that I particularly like, which is called Gotham. I think it's called, yeah, it's called Gotham. And it just, it's very chilled, I guess you could say, and it looks really good in almost anything. So if I can find G, then we'll use that one. Oop, there we go. Um, got them. Okay, so once you got that, just zoom in a bit, and no need to put any colours or anything on there yet. Uh, you want to come up to plugins and Thrasia for uh, 1.22 for R12, depending on what version you have, and just click the top one that says Thrasia. Now yours may have a picture here, but mine doesn't because I'm not sure, but it doesn't. So you want to leave everything the same, the only thing you want to change is the pieces, so um, I honestly use as much as you want or as little. I use 10 mainly, but for the sake of this tutorial we'll go like 15 because there's a few more letters. And make sure find polygon connection is uh, ticked and randomize. Don't need to worry about any of those tabs, that's all fine. Just hit break now and you'll see it do its work and you can just close out of that once it's all done so now over here these are your broken letters I guess you can say so you want to click the tick on all of these to make it fall I guess now come to the beginning of your timeline and just drop it down and you'll see that it'll sort of crack as it drops down but you don't want it to drop down you want it to stay in the one spot and sort of bulge out at you. So what we'll do, before we do that we're going to change the inner glow. So come over to this first uh, one that will say cut in, okay, double click that. Now this is your glowing object so change the top color to whatever you want so we will use pink because pink looks cool. And reflection, you can change the reflection to whatever you want, I normally use about 25 come down to glow and you want to change the outer glow to 160 now that is important because you don't want that on 500 or it will look tacky second thing uh, you want to change your outside color which is this one so I generally use black but for the sake of this I'm, I reckon I'll use white because white looks pretty cool with pink so just change just do a normal um, I guess map, uh, sorry, layer material and to what you'd normally have it and just make it a bit wider so once you've got that you want to come up here to this box and you want to put in a new platonic thing I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called but that's what I use and once you've got that you'll need to position this now this is the tricky part you want you don't want it to be too big but you don't want it to be too small so about the same size as your text and depending on how many letters you have you want to have three of them so come up and click this box in the top right hand corner and as you'll see now we want this to be like that so that it just the front point is sticking out so resize it to so it fits so you can fit about three in 
and then just go control C control V and drag that over just move it in a little bit depending and you want three of those so you can come back into this view now so as you can see it's still gonna fall down because we haven't made the tags the same yet so come up to your um, throughout your tag and hold control and drag it onto all of the platonics that we just made now you'll see that it will break out like that but as you'll see when we render it we have a problem and that problem is that you can see the um, platonics objects behind it and we don't want that I'm not sure what my computer is doing at the moment so you can still see those and you don't want that because that looks pretty dodgy if you ask me so what we'll do is come up here to the platonic go to a coordinate no basic it is and you want visible in editor you want to turn that to off and visible in render you want that off as well and you've got to do that for all three or you can just click here twice on each one and that will get rid of it you have to do it for both or else once you fully render it at the end you'll be able to see it so now that we've done that we're gonna quickly render this out to show you what we've created if my computer would be a bit faster but that's okay <clears throat> Uh, also, if you guys want tutorials, please request. Re oh, let me start again. Please request them in the comment section because it helps me out. Because I'm not really sure what to do with tutorials. I like to do tutorials, and they're a lot, a lot of fun for me, and it helps you guys out. But I need your help, so just comment what you want, and I'll be sure to sort something out. So that looks pretty cool but it hasn't applied the glow yet so you'll be able to see that in a minute uh, once it fully renders so there you go so you got like a glowing sort of text I guess and you can shatter it as much as you like uh, if you just want random pieces then you can do something like that but normally for words you put it on one or two depending and it all depends on the size of these objects as to um, I guess how far the break spits out if that makes sense so that one there is the one that I would go with personally and if you want to change the color of the inside layer just come over here and change the color and same goes for the outside color if you want wanted that to be black you could do that Anyway, so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if it helps you out, please leave a comment and maybe give it a like. That would be really appreciated. Also, requesting tutorials, please request some tutorials as it helps me out. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you have a good weekend and yeah, I'm out. Peace.